Jim's Burgers has a line of hungry customers. Orders vary in the time it takes to prepare them. Our task is to determine the order the customers receive their orders. Start by numbering each of the customers from 1 to N, front of the line to the back. You will then be given an order number and a preparation time for each customer. The time of delivery is calculated as the sum of the order number and the preparation time. If two orders are delivered at the same time, assume they are delivered in ascending customer number order. There are five customers in line. You've assigned each customer a customer number. Each customer is then associated to an order number. Each order has a predetermined preparation time. And the serve time is the sum of the order number and the preparation time. The orders are delivered to the customers in the following order. Customer number 4 receives their order first, followed by customer number 5, 3, 1, and finally, customer number 2. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Wow! How do you code that? Today we're solving the Hacker Rank Challenge. Jim and the orders. Before we solve this problem, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and subscribe now. Remember to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload new and unique content. Now, for the solution to this challenge. First, because we need to keep track of the order in which each customer is added to our queue, we instantiate a linked hash map, and assign it to the variable, map. Next, we use a loop to load our map assigning a customer number as the key in our map, and the sum of the order number, denoted by the first dimension of the incoming two-dimensional array, orders, and the preparation time, denoted by the second dimension of the incoming two-dimensional array. Once all customers have been added to our map, we define another map, named sorted map, and initialize it with the results from the call to the sort by values method on the map sort object, passing in our map. Inside the sort by values method on the map sort object, a comparator, named value comparator, is defined, with a compare method that compares the keys of two objects, in our case, the customer numbers. Next, a new tree map, named sorted by values, is instantiated, using the constructor that accepts a comparator, passing it our comparator. Next, the elements from our map are put into the sorted by values tree map which sorts all elements by value, automatically. Next, the sorted by values map is returned to the caller. Back inside the calling method, our sorted map is converted to an integer array, containing primitive integers, and returned to the caller. We hope you found this video helpful. If so, please comment below. If not, well, comment below, nicely. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. And we'll see you in the next episode of Wow! How do you code that?